Have you ever gotten into your car? Started the car. Try to shift it into drive from park. And it won't go into drive. Or there's a readout on your gauge cluster that says service stability track or service retraction control. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it. And it won't cost you any more than maybe $25. a 2007 or 2011 GM truck or SUV and have experienced any of the following symptoms. You go to shift from park to drive and the shifter will not move. Or on your gauge cluster you have two lights, one in the shape of a triangle and one that says ABS. Or in the readout it says service stability track or service traction control. Or whenever you're pressing your brake while you're driving, your brake lights are flickering on and off as if there's a short even though your brake's still on the brake pedal. Well, I think I may know where your culprit is. There's a little module that's located on the brake pedal known as the brake light switch. This switch controls not only the locking mechanism that's in your shift lever, but it also controls your brake lights. And in some vehicles, it controls your cruise control. So if you're driving along and your cruise control just automatically goes out by itself, this may be your culprit. The way it works is when you apply brake pressure, it pushes in on this little, a plunger pushes in on this little white switch right here that sends a signal to the vehicle letting it know that brake pressure is being applied to the brake pedal. So what we're going to do, we're going to step into this 2007 Chevy Avalanche and I'm going to show you where this is located on the brake pedal and also explain how easy it is to replace it. Okay, so located here on the brake pedal, up underneath the steering column, here is where that piece is located. It might, it might be coming in a little bit blurry for you guys but it's located right here on the brake pedal and it's a simple piece to remove it took me all of maybe five minutes to remove the piece out it has a little retaining clip on this side Let's see if I can get the camera there you can barely see it but right here it has a little retaining clip kind of cumbersome to remove but once you get it off it slides right off you have this actuator right here that uh, sends the um, brake pressure to the uh, brake pads and the caliper and whatnot located right here so once you remove this this is going to slide away it slides off this little pivot pin located right here and then you just put the new part in or you put this uh this uh, bar right here back on the pivot pin put the new part in and then you put the retaining clip back on then you plug it right back up right here so all in all brake light switch live another part fix my problem. Should be able to pick this part up at any of your local auto vendors, Western Auto, Napa, Advanced Auto Parts, AutoZones, O'Reilly's, Pep Boys, whatever you have in your area. And it shouldn't cost no more than $25. It's going to be a whole lot cheaper than getting it from the Chevy dealership. I picked this part up from O'Reilly's, the AC Delco uh, D1539J. Works perfectly fine. I can shift into drive from park with no problems or brake lights work like uh, they were before so i'm not a mechanic by any means i like to do stuff on the cheap so i do a lot of research online to see if i can fix problems before i take it to a mechanic to see if they can fix it but in the future i'll be posting videos of the work that i do to my avalanche it should also work for silverados and escalates they're all gm vehicles they all have the same mechanical layout of the same year group this is a 2007 I give this a shot. I'm Gary. Have a great one.